that the gift is also a necessary element in the creative production. Now, what constitutes a gift is at the core of a gift, a form of grace. What constitutes grace? Maybe we'll be able to, to answer those questions in the coming weeks, but you know, those are difficult, difficult, uh, of course, questions. I don't mean just, you know, to say, hey, it's a gift and that's it. It's not clear what constitutes a gift. It's not clear what constitutes grace. Um, and, but we do see certain expressions, certain modalities, certain modes of being that are constituted in the work, which point towards this grace or gift. The, another, another perhaps experience too that's common, uh, I experienced it, I'm sure you do too, when you go back to something you have written uh, and you can't recognize it. This is me, I wrote this. Maybe I'm insane, that's a possibility, but I have this experience all the time. Um, it, it, it something has come out that hasn't been rationalized in my head. It just kind of emanated out of my disposition, I would say, rather than reason. Term charisma, of course, has a history. Um, it's not super interesting, I think, but uh, Anyway, it's, it's good to know. Like I said, it, uh, it, ha it was part of theology for a very, very long time, um, starting with St. Paul, at least in the, in the Western so-called Western texts. Um, St. Paul writes about charisma as a gift from the Holy Spirit. Um, and that becomes a doctrine until the fourth century. In the fourth century, uh, of common era, uh, Catholic Church um, forbids this theory and uh, creates a doctrine in which charisma does not come from the Holy Spirit, but from the institution, which is the church. Life is a dream, he says. Um, what do we see in Bosch's triptychs? A dream a utopia or a nightmare. Uh, Deleuze has a beautiful saying, Gilles Deleuze, a French philosopher, in which he says, the worst thing in the world is to live in someone else's dream. I couldn't agree more. Uh, by extension, the best, the best thing in the world is to live in your own dream. Don't laugh, don't laugh, please, uh, but I say this, uh, I, I use the term biodiversity and I just watched the other day, the, the latest David Attenborough film on Netflix. Uh, I forgot the title of it. And he says the same thing. Um, biodiversity is the most important uh, value and virtue. So in that regard, <laughs> rather than with philosophers, I, I agree with, with uh, David Attenborough. Thank <laughs> you.